you know, I hate to even talk about this right now, and I really truly need to talk about it because it's something now that is is gaining so much attention that the people who are real true victims of a crime, their voice can't even be heard anymore. Do y'all remember, I'm talking about rape, the subject of rape. Do y'all remember the Duke lacrosse team, how that the media demonized every single one of them and said that they were all rapists? Then all of a sudden, it just fizzled out and fused, but their name had already been scorned. Um, it had already been, you know, drugged through the mud and everything. And who in the world would want to go and play lacrosse at Duke? Well, come to find out that it was all made up and none of it was true. Then when the news media came out uh, to break the story, no, as I said, break the story, that what they said about this Duke lacrosse team was not true, it was buried on page 15D or something like that. And it was just utterly amazing. But, but you know, as soon as they got the ear and the attention of people that could actually um, throw mud on this program and make it look bad, man, they, they wasted not an opportunity to be able to do that, boy. You know why? Because smut sells. Well, anyway, and then, hey, there was another one over UVA. UVA, there was this woman who... Um, said that she was raped by some guy in a chemistry class over at a frat party or something like that, and my memory serves me correct. Um, then, next thing you know, everybody goes and breaks out the windows of the frat house, spray painted and everything, marching and carrying on, and and, and, and I mean, just a, just a protest of the protest. Then, she comes out later on and says, uh, none of it was true, it was all made up. Y'all hearing this? No, none of it was true. It was all made up. You mean tell me people went through all that drama and all that stuff just because somebody lying? Well, we have the same thing going on again. Um, you know, it, it's a sad situation because now they got a so-called uh, law out there that if a woman is dating a man or, or something like this, whatever you want to call it, I don't understand this dating junk. Anyway, if she's on a college campus or whatever and she's at a frat party and she decides to go to bed with somebody, she wakes up the next morning and says, oh, man, man, I don't feel like I really should have done that. And then she turns around and says, you know what? I got raped. Next thing you know, everybody wants to come down on this guy for her allegedly being so-called raped when she actually had sex with this guy, consensual sex with this guy. You know, I believe that this generation we live in now um, it's, it's just, I mean, it's just in my mind hard that they don't know right from wrong. They just don't. Um, and now it's, 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 um, unfortunate and it's very sad, um, that women who actually have literally been a victim of crime. Now the police don't want to believe you. Nobody wants to believe you when you say you've been raped now. Uh, nobody does. And it's putting a bad rap and it's causing everybody to be desensitized towards these schizophrenic women. Everybody hollering and screaming rape. No police report, uh, no investigation, no nothing. It, you know, we, we just some sad people. It's just, it's just a sad world and we're going from bad to worse. You know, and again, I think my, my anger in this particular instance here is just a simple fact that you've got people who have literally, legitimately, um, even hate to even say that word, you know, in this context right here, but I know you know what I'm saying. Have mercy on me if you don't. Um, who have actually been a literal victim of a crime. And now their voice is is not even really heard nowadays because people are hearing, they've been raped so much and now nobody's even paying attention um, to the voice of the woman that has really truly um, had a crime impaled upon her. It's just a sad situation. You know, as the years go by, first of all, I thank Yah, I do, through Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, that reading his word has given me wisdom a long, long time ago to move out of these cities way off into the country um, and to just, you know, at least for the moment of time, I can get away from this. If I have to conduct business, so I can come in here, then I can get out. I do. I, I mean, man, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Have a wonderful evening.